Hey guys, today I'm filming the last update for Power of Pan. This is a project created by Nikki Pearson for the Fantastic Ladies Group, and this is based off the original TV show Charmed. This was a year long project, had a little over 20 prompts, and I have had so much fun with this and it has been very successful. And we have one more month until the finale, although I am posting my video late, so it's just a couple of weeks, which is gonna be just fine, because at last update, I had four products left. I was able to hit my goal on three of the four in the past month, which is amazing. So for the finale, I'm gonna recap all of the items that I worked on in the project, so it's not a 30 second update and boring, so that will be coming next time. But we've got a shorter video today, but an exciting one. Starting with the items that I did hit my goal on for Graham's and oldest product, I picked my oldest pressed powder, which was the Remmel Stay Matte. I will have a picture of where I was last time. It was just a tiny bit of product left and I was able to get through that pretty quickly. But this is my holy grail touch up powder. I think it is the best at mattifying. I do also use this after I set my face with my loose powder. I will go in my oily areas with a little bit of this just to help me stay matte longer. And it is just amazing. So affordable and crappy packaging, but incredible. So the weights on this from repressing it went from 1.088 to 1.058. 1.012 all used up 1.008 and when I rolled it into this project it was weighing at 1.323 so really happy that I was able to finish this up and I did buy a backup of this on Amazon Prime Day and it has already been in my everyday routine. And the next prompt I hit my goal on was for Gideon, something you need to learn to use. I had chosen self tanner. I have four different self tanners in my collection and I was using one before each update and I had just one left and last month I unfortunately did not use one which was a shame because I should have been finished with this at the end of summer but that's all right so last night I did use the Vita Liberata self tanning gradual lotion and I put this just to test it I put it on one thigh just to see if there was going to be a difference with just one use I did use two layers and just with one application, I am able to see a difference, which is nice and it doesn't look streaky. I didn't put any other lotion underneath, but I tried to apply a good amount, really rub it in and again, doing that second layer. And I think it looks great. It does have like a little bit of a funky smell. It's not bad, it's not strong, but I know self tanner doesn't smell great, but really quickly, I'll show you the other ones that I had in here. I love Paradise. Body High Glow Self Tanning Serum, the Vita Liberata Tanning Mist in Medium, and the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Self Tanning Water Mist for Face. I'm gonna think on it a little bit more because like I am impressed by that lotion, but I was thinking about just decluttering all of these and I don't know, now I'm on the fence, but I probably will at least let go of a couple of these to a friend to use up because I just don't use my self tanners. I'm glad that I did in these projects to make myself try them, but honestly, I more of like patch tested them than applying them on my whole body because I was still just too scared of that. And then I had two products left, my Estee Lauder serum and my Buxom lip liner. I wanted to finish these completely. I'm going to give you a couple seconds to comment down below. Let me know which of these do you think I finished in the past month? If you guessed the lip liner, you would be correct. This is the Buxom Powerline Plumping Lip Liner in Hush Hush Henna. This is just a little deluxe sample I got as an Ulta free gift a couple years ago. I initially was gonna have a goal of using this 10 times and my dumb behind thought that it might be done completely in 10 uses. Well, at my last update, I had used it 11 times and there was wear on it. There was progress, but there was still so much left. So this had become my everyday lip liner for work and I did track the number of uses. So I got 46 uses out of this. I thought I was gonna finish it in 10. I got 46 uses out of this, which is very impressive for a deluxe size sample. And that just scares me about 
full size lip liners that they're going to take forever to get through but this is all the way rolled up this was a really beautiful shade and i told you guys last month that i was going to be pairing it with my maybelline lifter gloss in amber this is something that i had in another project but i was able to finish them both up together which was really exciting i was very proud of that and this was a really pretty combo and just felt great to knock out a couple more lip products from my collection this was a pretty shade i don't think i'm going to repurchase but i do think this is a good lip liner i have a couple full sizes and when i've swatched them they've broken but this one never broke which is weird right usually minis break more than a full size but it has a nice like teardrop shape which makes it easy to line the lips and also shade them in it's a really nice product that i would recommend but that feels so good to have used up a lip liner and then we've got my estee lauder advanced night repair serum and i did go to my parents house since last time and i ended up staying two nights so i got two additional uses on this so previously i was at 10 and now i'm at 12 and there really does not seem to be much left. I think one or two more uses and this will be finished completely, which is great, but I don't think I'm traveling anytime soon. So I might just have to use this up at my house, which you guys know is not what I wanted. So whether it's traveling or whether it's at home, this will be finished by next time, but we'll see what ends up happening. So out of all of the products that I have worked on over the past year, we have just one left and it's a friggin' deluxe size sample but I feel really good about this update. As I said, hopefully my finale will be interesting to you guys because I will recap everything that I worked on throughout this project and definitely check out Nikki and Jessica Lee and everybody else that is participating in this project. It has been so much fun and I can't wait to join in on some other like fun project like this next year, hopefully. And I wanna thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.